exhaust is just barreling the ground. Welcome back to another episode of Teeth and Turbos. Today I am at the Freedom Factory getting my burnout car dialed in for Indy Cletus and Cars this weekend. I got a few things to get it fixed up and ready for transport on Wednesday. The car just needs a little bit of dialing in before this weekend so I can rip a fat one on the burnout pad. This has been so much fun. This is the car. I got some different sized wheels for it because Cletus has a uh, deal with Nitto get some tires for this thing. I'm gonna show you what I'm doing today. I've got a big coolant leak under here, underneath the throttle body and the nitrous plate. So I gotta pull that apart and put a new coolant line on. I also have a new distributor cap. The car's been idling really rough at idle. And so I was taking a look at it. The distributor cap has a little bit of build up inside of it. So I'm gonna change that out and the rotor and the coil and see where we get with that. You can see on this old distributor cap, on each one of these leads, there's quite a bit of buildup. So I just went ahead and did a whole new distributor cap and rotor. I still need to trim this intercooler line. I just want to get the car fired up. I put a new coil on. Right now she's charging up to 12 valves and we'll get her fired up. Throwing a bunch of codes. I need to get my hands on an OBD-1 to clear the codes and at least start there. Hopefully we can pull this all off before the car leaves on Wednesday. I also wanna weld the rear, the rear diff. It's pretty locked in right now, but I really wanna give it that little extra oomph to just make sure I'm ripping a fat burnout on both wheels at all times. Instead of turning into one and getting one wheel spin, we've all been there and done that at an intersection or in an empty parking lot. and. You know, it's a little embarrassing when there's a couple thousand people watching you and you're only spinning one tire and you're trying to put on the show. So I got to get this thing freaking right before I send it again. All right, I guess I'm going to nickname this thing the Amazon Project because literally all the parts I buy for this Mustang are from Amazon. I got this new cap and a new rotor. Got my, frick, what do I have in here? All right, coil intercooler piping so let's get to it all right got the nitrous plate off in the throttle body here is the coolant line I'm having trouble with you can see somebody's already done kind of a DIY patch kit on it I'm gonna go ahead and replace the whole the whole line here. Bing. Got my new hose here. A quarter inch. Let's get her wired up. This probably isn't the right way to do it, but I'm having a lot of trouble getting way down in there. It had a hose clamp on there, but I think I'm just gonna use a zip tie and send it. Cause this stuff is a pain. You can see, there's one of the feeds right here. Freaking perfect. After about an hour long struggle, this hose clamp back here on this coolant line was way back behind here. And I finally got it off. It was, in there deep and you know like when you can't reach one end of the hose clamp to either untighten it or even reach in there and it's clamping this rubber hose so i was able to get back there with a razor blade and just eat it up until it was gone <laughs> finally got the hose clamp off after i lubed it up and then i went to put on the new coolant line freaking zip tied on there and it zip tied it it shut so i had to pull back off again but Finally got her in, getting her back together. Gonna fire it up. I did put the new distributor cap on and the rotor, new coil. So hopefully that solves some of our issues. All right, so I'm gonna try and fire this thing up. Last time I was here, it was dead. So let's see what we got. Oh yeah, completely cooked. All right, let's see if we got any jumper cables. Always 
keep chairs in the back. Never know when you're gonna need a, a good lawn chair. Let's see if this thing fires up. It's been hooked up to the, the truck for a couple minutes. All right, day two, I got a new battery. Let's get this thing fired up. <laughs> Running a little rough. Running a little rough. Ooh. I'm not even touching the throttle. Something ain't right, but still gonna send it on the on the burnout pad because once I drive it and I get up to speed, everything's fine. But it just idles so rough. So I don't know if I have the throttle body open too much and idle, or if we have a big vacuum leak. But hey, when it's running, it's fine. And I, when, when I'm in drive and I'm laying on the gas, it's firing on all eight, and she's got power. So power is smoke. All right, I got this thing up in the air. Gonna pull the diff off and try and get her welded up. It's like out there in tax land, you know, and it's like, even that's gonna, it's gonna smell awesome. But yeah, I, uh, we're right here, guys. Pulled the rear diff cover off and, uh, forgot to put the car in neutral. So here we are. Gotta climb up there, lower her down, and Get it, uh, get her in neutral so I can spin it backwards a little bit to get this thing welded up. Gonna weld her up right here in each corner here and uh, see how it does. This is my first time doing this, so just winging it, but you know, that's how you learn. It's by doing it. Maybe. All right, we're about halfway down with these welds. Already did the other side. They aren't beautiful, but they'll get the job done. All right, hopefully this, in real talk, this hopefully this diff doesn't lock up on me as soon as I start the burnout or halfway through, because that would suck. No spin. I don't know. I was blowing through the converter or something. If you tighten, if you tighten, it'll heal up. Or just going to self-tap it right to the body. Well, shit, now I'm more worried about the converter. It was, it was working on the first time. Yeah, I know. First rip and then didn't spin at all. Should we try it again? Yes. I'd like to say yes. Should I cut you off? So we're indie bound tomorrow, whether we're ready or not. When I came out to do a test burnout, it was pushing through the converter. The wheels weren't spinning, but hey, I dropped it down to first gear and it ripped a fat burnout. So fixed the intercooler line and welded the rear diff, put a new battery in it and put some zoomies on. 
and I'm freaking pumped. Tomorrow she heads out on the transporter and we'll give it our best. Hopefully it blows up so we can move on to something like an LS, but trusty steed is holding up. So we'll see. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment. Thanks.